Hello, I'm Carmen Shank, the owner of Gashinka, a pipe organ company dedicated to inspiration and innovation. We are the first in the world to create pipe organ pipes made completely of glass. The body, the foot, and the speaking part, the mouth. This is Xavier Wilhelmi, Certified Pipe Organ Builder. Together we bring out the rich history of pipe organ building, the vibrant present day, and the infinite possibilities of the future. Imagine no boundaries, we do. I'd like a few minutes of your time to talk to you about a dream, a literal dream, and the resulting concept I'm calling Vision 2020. But first, a few details. You have a 1940s instrument that was believed to be a Kilgan. You have a Cloiker, which is going to be turning 50 in 2019. As a matter of fact, St. Mary's is, is turning 80 in 2019. And I'm turning 50 in 2019 as well. Now, aside from my birthday, these are significant events, significant anniversaries and they provide a very interesting opportunity. Now we have clients from Washington DC and as far south as Winston-Salem and all over the place in between. And only in one other situation have I observed a woman in the stained glass of the chapel. And <laughs> you have Ruth and the woman at the well. You even have Joan of Arc in the windows of your chapel. And that moved me. Now, Xavier Wilhelmi is my husband. He is an amazing person. I'm not going to take the time to give you his resume or list all of his innovations in the world of pipe organ building. I will make that information available to you. Absolutely. I love talking about him, but that's not really the purpose of this video. So he's a certified pipe organ builder but there's something a little bit weird about him. <laughs> and that, by that I mean that quite literally there have been times when he has fallen asleep minding his own business and in his dream he will see an invention that he has created. He will interact with the first, second, fourth, or eighth prototype of that item and he will see people respond to it and experience his invention firsthand in a dream. That's an amazing thing. Now, why am I telling you that? <laughs> I'm telling you that because he had a dream in St. Mary's and I'm going to let him talk here in a minute. But first of all, let me tell you about what he saw. He was walking from the back of the sanctuary to the front where he, st he stood at the front here and turned and looked back and he was able to see something amazing take place. Now the setting is a musical event where young women are parading with flags of all the nations through the sanctuary and there's music and the music is multicultural and it's rhythmic and it changes in places to reflect the different nations of the world and it's a, a definitely a celebration. But as he turned to look back towards this part of the sanctuary, he saw something unfold that is really pretty <laughs> remarkable in the world of pipe organ building. And I'm gonna have him draw it for you because I'm not quite sure how else to give you a picture of what happened. But uh, I think this is an amazing thing. And I would really ask that you pay close attention to this because this is 
kind of out there in a kind of special place, right? Because <laughs> quite honestly, we don't choose our clients. Our clients, clients, excuse me, our clients usually choose us. But this is very different. This is very special. And so I want him to tell you what he saw.